What is going on guys? This is Kimoch. He's here bringing you a beginner's guide for Logress. Because I know a lot of players that are coming new into the game are suffering from a lot of overwhelming content. Not knowing what to do in the game. And this guide is just basically helping you understand the basic concepts of how to get started in the game. Uh, guides for gear is not included because there's a TP video for that that I've already made. You guys can look at that for understanding gear by itself. But this video is just to give you a general idea on like what to do at the beginning of the game, like your first week on Logress, and how to get through that easy peasy lemon squeezy. So Osiris is the core of Logress Global as it is right now. It is the hardest weapon to get as well as one of the most powerful weapons to get if not the most powerful weapon to get in the game right now because it gives lots of perks to for your class and much more. So the perks of having Osiris is basically you get an insane amount of buffs. Like it gives plus two to every skill as well as basic attacks. Now, by itself, it is not very strong. You can basic attack with an Osiris and doesn't do much damage. But what it does is it makes all your other weapons so much more powerful. So it's like a god tier support weapon to have. It doesn't make you, it doesn't make you stronger by having it with just attacking it. It just makes your entire lineup of weapons even stronger than it is right now. Having it is like an essential. That's why many other clans, like really top high level clans they want Osiris users because they are just so much more superior than, than people that don't have it and Osiris all of them are good each element is good to have there's six of them but as of right now the most strongest ones are dark and light mainly because where global stands right now the main weapons are usually light and dark and those are like the good weapons to have in the game so it's easier to stack on light and dark compared to the other elements but that's not to say that those other four elements, water, wind, fire, and earth, are not relevant right now. You can still use them for like divine trials and all that. And once we come out with more weapons, which has all six elements and there's no discrimination between elements, that's when those other elements will shine and that's when the other Osiris weapons, such as my earth spear, will become much more useful to have. And Osiris, even though it gives negative 2 TP like you may like you look at this you lose 2 TP for like a permanent one hour for that entire fight but it's worth it it gives so much more benefits to have and by all means it's a great weapon trust me I have one it's great now how do you go about getting an Osiris well Osiris can be found in the crystal lottos of the lotto tab um, each class that from tier 1s can have a Osiris and the beauty of it is it's it's split up so you don't have to go like oh I'm just going to roll here and hopefully I'll get a, a mace or something. It's split in the classes so it, it brings down your chance of getting the Osiris you want. The downside is the drop rate or the draw rate is extremely low. For me it's about 1 in 500. Yeah. For my spear it took me about three days of four hours of re that's like 12 hours right there to get a UR and that's my first UR too yeah it is uh very very hard to get one you might be luckier than me I think mine is a little bit on the lower end of getting on Osiris but you guys might have better luck than I do so good luck to everyone on getting one now how do I reroll Rerolling in this game basically means I'm going to keep making new accounts until I get a good draw. AKA, many people reroll in this game to get an Osiris. Now, the best way to do this, there's two ways to do this actually. Uh, the first way is to grind your way up through chapter 1. Here are all those uh, griffins, those uh, birds, those uh, tentacle plants, whatever things. And name your character, get your 5 crystals, and rate the game for another 5 crystals. Now this by itself gives you 10. Back in the day I did it, it was 31 but they fixed that in the game, they made it so it's Japanese so you only get 5 nowadays plus the other 5 you get from rating the game so that's 10. And you can just reroll there, do your 2 draws and if you don't get anything you like, just roll back and restart again. 
Now, the other way to do it is you go up to Chapter 4. Once you're in Chapter 4, you are eligible to join clans and clans. There's a banner area once you join one where you can get free crystals by just having your clan at a specific level. For me, my clan is 38. And advice that everyone that wants to reroll look for a clan that's over 45 to get maximum rewards. And I think it's about 4, 55 crystals if you clear all of them over a level 45 clan. And in terms of efficiency, I say the best way to get crystals is to get up, go to chapter 4. Mainly because getting up to chapter 1 takes about 10-12 minutes depending on how fast you go. And clearing chapter 4 takes about 45 minutes. And you're, very, you're basically comparing 10 crystals to 65 crystals. So, doing chapter 4 is a lot more f beneficial. But, the thing is, um, right now, clans are like hovering around level 40. So, you're not, you're not be able to do reroll as quickly until, like, I say, maybe like a week. And then you can reroll. But, uh, yeah, if you guys reroll then, you get nothing you want. What you do now is go to your files, make sure your emulator, I advise you guys if you reroll on emulator, to, I mean if you guys reroll, reroll on emulator, go to your files, root, make sure it's rooted, data, data, go to the um, logris file, go to shared preferences and delete this file that I have hovered right here and you can open the game back up again and you can start rerolling. This saves a lot of time without having to download the game and it's quicker in the long run and this is probably like the most efficient way to do it. You guys can set up macros for Nox. Uh, many people do it. Um, for me, I don't do it. I do it manually. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but you gotta do what you gotta do for speed. Da -da -da. Now, farming crystals is the essentials to every phone game. It is the real life currency in every phone game. And how you get this, you basically, there's many ways to do this. You can farm a scenario quest, and it's limited, remember that. So you're not given one every time you just clear it. You clear it once you get crystals, you clear it again, you don't get crystals. Simple as that. Um, you do those, you get crystals. Rush mirror quest unlocks at chapter 8. Once you finish it, you get crystals there too. Hunter quest, once you're able to clear a certain scenario, you unlock the hunter quest for it, you get crystals there. Many crystals to get, about like probably I'd say 60, 70, 80, around there. Um, also, unlocking jobs gives you 5 crystals. Every time you unlock one, you get 5 more crystals. And there's about, I think, 14 classes right now. So that's like 70 more crystals. Unlock those, you get crystals there. Very easy to do for the most part. Most tier 1, tier 2 classes are very easy to get. Tier 3 classes are weak on a weekly rotation. Once, you, once they come out, you just do those. Again, very simple to do. A lot of people are doing them. Do yours. So just hop on in, join a uh, wave of quests, and you'll be getting your crystals very soon. Special missions. There are many special missions in this game. They come out on weekly to bi-weekly rotations. Many of them have about 10 crystals each banner. And you can do those to farm a lot of crystals. Some specific ones de designated for events for seasons have a lot of crystals up to like 30 to 50. And you can do those for many, many crystals as well. Events, these come on a monthly basis, I assume. Elemental Trials, you do those, you get about, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 20 per element. So there's 6 elements, that's about 120. That's a lot of crystals right there. Clan Quests, again, I said earlier, if you join a clan and it's a pretty high rank, you get free crystals by just having the clans at a certain level. And, last but not least, Dailies, the Essentials, the core for every player. Do those every single day, you get 5 crystals, they accumulate, so don't miss them at all because after a month, that's about 150 crystals right there and then. Da, da, da. Managing events. So this part gets a bit confusing for most new players. Um, most of these events are, or special missions, or whatever you want to call them, are limited time, so it's hard to prioritize them. I split these up into uh, prioritize prioritization in which I find the most efficient. Basically, number one, I focus on Divine Trials and collaborations, mainly because Divine Trials give me good gear to get through the early stages of the game. However, most of them have gear or gear score, total power requirements. So, bear that in mind. You're probably not going to be strong enough to do those, but we could do our collaborations instead. 
He's come on a very ro rare rotation. The last time he had a collaboration was Attack on Titans, and he gave a lot of good gear, a lot of good rewards, a lot of crystals, a lot of weapons, a lot of armor, a lot of good stuff, a lot of medals, good stuff to have. Prioritize those first because those are limited, and those are the ones that will make you stronger in the long run. The second one you want to focus on are limited missions. Basically, these are like the seasonal ones, such as the wedding one a while back, and the summer watermelon one we have right now. These give crystals and event prizes for cosmetics. A lot of crystals, a lot of stuff to have. And we might get these back eventually in the future, but again, these are seasonal. So look, watermelon smash is a summer event. You probably won't be able to see this until next year. So prioritize doing these next. And whatever next, uh, whatever is left on the banner, do those because eventually those will come back in time. Rewards usually don't refresh on these unless stated otherwise. I think elemental trials are the only ones that do refresh. Everything else stays there until the next time you clear it. So don't don't fret yourself too much. If you don't clear it the first time around, it'll be there next time. It'll come back sooner than the seasonal ones. So prioritize these next because you can do these whenever you want. Even though it's limited time, it'll come back soon. I promise you that. Joining a clan, the essentials to socializing in mobile phone games as it is. Playing with up to 12 other players in events is a great way to meet new people, get help from others, and a lot of ways to make new companions on the field of Logris. Now the perks of joining a clan is you can do clan trials. Most clans can do up to, I'd say, level 5. It's not really hard. Do these, you get rewards, specifically what is labeled on the, the assigned trial that you're doing. A lot of crystals, I keep saying this guys, join clans, you get a lot of crystals. A lot, a lot of crystals. And clan missions. These, if you do them, you get clan mandras, which are very, very, very good medals to have because these give 5,000 HP to all your party members in a battle, as well as heal them for 5,000. And if you get a hundred of these, this will take a very long time, probably like four months or so. You will get 500 HP on top of your stats permanently for having a hundred medals. Doesn't that sound nice? I think that sounds nice. Especially you healers and samurais out there that are very squishy. I know y'all guys I one hit. I know you want that 500 HP, so go out there, farm for it. You get one a day aside from weekends, I think. So good luck everyone, get those medals. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. This is a brief explanation on getting through the basics and the elementary school stuff on Logris. It's not a very hard game to understand. There's a lot of ways to help, such as post on Reddit, ask questions in Discord, many other ways. But I know most of you people that watch my videos don't actually go there. I say most, probably half of you guys. But if you guys need any of those assistance, that's why this video is made to help you guys. Don't be scared, it's, an, it's a fairly new game, about two months old, so there's a lot more stuff to learn in the game. Some of us have been playing since the release and we still are learning, learning new stuff as we go along, so take it with a grain of rice guys, have fun, enjoy the game. It's still new, the, the community is very nice, they're all great people, and have a good time guys. I will see you all on the field of progress.